Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be 10 lessons I have learned from project panning. And I have been project panning actually for five years. I started it on my own and then eventually I started my Instagram and then my YouTube channel. So I've had my YouTube channel for about almost three years, not quite, but yes, I was project panning before I ever started documenting it on social media, I guess. And these are just some lessons that I've learned along the way. And I think a lot of it is you know, you kind of have to do what works for yourself. The whole reason I project pan is to get good use out of my makeup collection. When I first started project panning, I had a larger collection. I had a lot of older items that I was trying to finish up. So the reasons for it kind of changed along the way. And I did use up a lot of those older products and I did declutter as well, which is not something I ever did before discovering the project pan community. So yeah, these are just 10 things I learned along the way. I will leave in the description box my project pan playlist and also my pan that palette playlist. Pan that palette is something that I've only done for three years. I did not do that when I first started project panning. It is something that I've started to do, which I absolutely love as well. So let's just get into it. Lesson number one is that depotting does not work for me. And so depotting is something I had not heard a lot of before the Project Pan community. And when I started watching people on YouTube and on Instagram, a lot of people were depotting palettes and then putting them in magnetic palettes, you know, to reduce packaging and things like that. And I got so into it. I depotted a ton of palettes, like probably 20 eyeshadow palettes. And what ended up happening is I just realized once I depotted the item, I just did not reach for it as much. And I think, again, this is a personal preference type thing. For me, using eyeshadow palettes, part of the experience is the packaging and also the color arrangement and the color story. And when I removed all of that and just put a bunch of single eyeshadows together in a palette, I was not drawn to it anymore, which is very unfortunate, but I have stopped depotting because of that. Interestingly enough though, actual single eyeshadows that you buy individually and arrange in a palette, for me, I reach for those and I really enjoy my single eyeshadows. So it didn't work for me, therefore I no longer depot eyeshadows. Number two is the importance of makeup brushes and trying different brushes for different products. This is something I experimented with a lot and I think once you are trying to completely finish something up or hit pan on it, you know, you really learn a lot about the product. And when you're panning different products, you realize not everything works the same way. And switching up my makeup brushes really, really helped up, helped depending on the eyeshadows that I was using or even the highlighter or the blush. I've just noticed that not all of my blushes are best used with the same blush brush. Same goes with my eyeshadows and my highlighters. And that is something that has helped me with project panning because when you're really focusing and trying to use the same product day after day, you really learn it quite thoroughly. Lesson number three is that I just don't need a lot of base products as far as primer, concealer, and foundation. I just want what works for me. I prefer variety when it comes to eyeshadows, blush, and highlighters. Before I started project panning, I actually had a lot more foundation and concealer that I have now. If you do wanna hear my makeup inventory, by the way, I will leave that in the description box because my last makeup inventory, I actually compared my numbers to 2016, um, and I thought that was really interesting to do. But basically, I do, I want variety when it comes to eyeshadows and I have a lot of eyeshadow that is probably the main category that has increased a lot for me over the years, but it's really what I love. It's my passion in makeup, so I'm okay with that. But foundation and concealer, I just want a few things that work for me and yeah, that is definitely something that I've learned through project banning. Number four is that I don't need a lot of lipsticks. And this is something that I am still working on. Before I started project panning, I had about 70 lipsticks, maybe even more. And now I have about 30 lipsticks. And honestly, 30 is still too much for me. I gravitate towards the same colors over and over again, mostly neutral type shades. And then occasionally I'll do a bright red, but I just don't need a ton of variety. And lipstick is for me, one of the hardest items to finish. Lip gloss, I can finish more easily because it's something I can reapply throughout the day. But I don't know, I just don't really like reapplying lipstick. It's not something I do. And yeah, lipstick is one of the hardest items for me to pan. And lip products and cream products in general expire so much faster than powder products. 
this is something that I'm just, I'm trying not to buy lipstick for a very long time. I actually have not bought any lipstick since June, so that is very, very exciting. And I want to keep that up, but part of me, this is kind of random, but I've also really learned my preferences with lipstick. There are a few formulas that I just know and love, and I don't know that I really even want to experiment outside of that. Mostly I love the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, MAC lipsticks, and then the Smashbox liquid lipsticks. Those are my favorites. So in an ideal world, I would probably get rid of half my lipsticks and then just buy a couple from those favorite formulas and I would be set. Bottom line, I really want to reduce my lipstick collection even more. Number five is that I want to minimize my liquid and cream products in general because they are difficult to use up and a lot of them I just don't reach for as much. Like I mentioned, the lipsticks, I reach for the few same colors over and over again. Liquid and cream blush, not something I use all that often. Liquid highlighter that I do use pretty often because I like to mix it in with foundation, but like cream and stick highlighters, those are just not for me. and those products expire so quickly and they're just not things i use a lot therefore i really i'm just trying to minimize that and i have done that for sure i used to have way more cream and liquid products than i do now and yeah something i'm trying to minimize and i just don't want to buy any that i know that i won't use very often number six is that sometimes project panning can let other items in my collection sit around collecting dust because i'm working on project pan items and that is something that, that has taken me some time to be able to do that. And shopping my stash has really, really helped. And I found a good way for me to shop my stash. That's taken a while. So it's been only about a year and a half that I've really figured that part out. Um, I do have a whole shop my stash playlist. I will link that in the description box. And basically I just have to pick less items for shopping my stash. I think initially when I tried it, I just picked too many items for the shop my stash and i had project pan items and it was just completely unrealistic for me to use those therefore you know for quite a while when i first started project panning i was mostly using project pan items and everything else was just kind of sitting around collecting dust which is not great either and i do finally feel like i have a pretty decent balance at project panning and also shopping my stash i'm doing a lot more usage in my projects and that has helped as well but yeah in the beginning i definitely was letting other things sit around and i'm just trying hard not to do that anymore lesson seven is that i want to use my makeup i don't want to save it for special occasions i don't want it to sit around i want to use it and this is a mindset that I had before I started project panning. I was so scared to use items up, especially high-end items, that I would savor those high-end items for special occasions, whatever that may be. And yes, a lot of times like during the work week, I would just wear drugstore makeup because I didn't want to waste my high-end products. And it was just a very different mindset. I no longer have that mindset. If I wanna wear my high-end makeup, I do it and I want to use it because the stuff I paid for the most, that's what I really wanna get my money's worth out of and makeup does go bad. You know, obviously I realize that and yes, I don't wanna save anything for special occasions anymore. Number eight is that I've really learned my preferences for my favorite formulas through Project Panning. My favorite eyeshadow formulas, my favorite types of foundations and concealers. And I really do think Project Panning has helped with that because before I just kind of would buy things, use a little bit, move it on to something else. I wasn't consistently using things enough to the point to where I was finishing them up. I just kind of kept rotating and then buying new things. When you use a product out completely, you really know how you feel about it. That's why I love empties videos because when you've completely finished something up, you can really give the best review on it, honestly. So. I've just really learned my preferences and that is something that Project Panning has helped immensely with. Number nine is a big one and that is that new products are not necessarily going to make my makeup look better. What is going to make my makeup look better is practice, trying different makeup brushes, trying different techniques, and more practice, honestly. I think for a long time I would watch makeup tutorials on YouTube and I'd see a person do a specific look and I, want, I would wanna buy those exact products to achieve the look. When in reality, I'm sure that I already had like a pink and a purple eyeshadow, I just needed to practice the technique more to get it down. And that is something I've been trying a lot. 
And I think that I've been doing that more in the last year. I think for a while, my makeup application was not necessarily getting better because I was more focused on products than the actual techniques and brushes that I was using. And I've tried really hard in the last year in particular to actually improve my makeup skills. And that really comes down to practice. And a lot of the time, you do not need the exact same products. Obviously, some products are better than others. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's eyeshadows that I've tried that are straight up terrible, but I just think in general, practice and techniques really makes a world of difference, and it's honestly a lot more important than the products. All right, lesson 10 is a big one as well, and that is that I realized I don't wanna hate pan anything. Now, if there's something that I don't like, if I can make it work, then I will try to use it up. For example, in my Partners in Cream project pan, I have my Becca foundation, and that foundation on its own, I do truly despise it. It is so heavy and cakey. However, I did discover that if I mix it in with a lighter foundation, like a tinted moisturizer, I actually do like it. So if I can do something like that where I can still enjoy the product, then I will still try to pan it. But if something looks absolutely terrible on me, or definitely if something is breaking me out, that is not worth it. I get rid of it immediately. Or for example, if there's a palette that I just really don't like the formula, I'll just give that away to someone else. It's just not worth it to me. So I do try to make things work. I will mix concealers, foundations, you know, other liquid and cream products together. But if I truly don't like something, I would rather just give it away and not try to finish it. Alrighty, that is it for my 10 lessons I've learned from Project Panning. Please, please let us know what have you learned from Project Panning. And I just really am curious. I think that this has been really important for me and I want to continue Project Panning even though I've already been doing it for so long because I'm afraid if I stop, I'll just revert back to my old ways where makeup sits around collecting dust. I'm not using my products. And yeah, I don't wanna keep buying new things and then not using the older ones. I still do buy new makeup, but I try to make sure that I'm using my entire makeup collection and that I'm just not neglecting products. So that is it for this video. I will link my Project Pan and my Pan That Palette playlist in the description box. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.